Hey, good morning, YouTube. I'll give you a quick rundown on what's going on here. I gotta get logged in here. See, been here 10 hours 48 minutes. It is 3 11 a.m. If you don't know, you can go right here and look at your summary. It tells you how many hours you got left for the week, and it you know, you can break everything down through that. But right here, you want to go to change on duty. I always go with yard move because I'm going to be moving here on the yard. I'm at a Lowe's, but it's still a yard. And P T uh symbols slash and then right move because it won't let you do just pti on yard move mode hold on my slash didn't go in there slash move and hit OK hit OK agree then up here you see BIR vehicle inspection report you can hit that come on let's go new VR and then this trailer number I got trailer T34 so just put 34 next no defects no defects submit B vehicle inspection report submit And you're all done. And that is it on the computer. Now, if you do have any problems, don't ever post it on there. Don't ever put it on there because then you got, you, you can't even drive to go get it fixed. Once you put it on there, you're down. You got to have somebody come to you and fix it. So if you have a problem, Take note of it. Don't put it on there and let the company know. Or if you're an owner operator, then get it fixed. Just don't put it in that Omnitrax or computer because they're going to want to see receipts on where it was fixed. All right, here we go, YouTube. We got 125 miles to go to deliver this load, dropping hook. And then I got to. Go to Waco, dropping a hook, and then back to Atlanta. So our day is scheduled right out. Road, then take the second right. Yeah, there's a couple good looking trucks around here I wanted y'all to see. I don't know if you'll be able to see them in the dark, but I know one of them you'll be able to see is right here in the driveway. There it is. OFLD. Or no, that might be a classic. Either way, them some sweet trucks. Oh, God, that was a big hole. Now there's another big hole. Let's avoid this one. Yeah, that's old classic. Uh, all right. Let's get out of here and get on the road. Turn right on. Well, what's going on there, YouTube? Yeah. It is 3.30 in the morning. Been riding here for about uh, 15 minutes or so. Looking at these roads, yeah, it's uh, 30 degrees. There's no ice as of yet, but I see potential 
for there to be some ice. So, got to pay a little better attention this morning than normal. But, that's all part of it. I don't know if this is good or bad. I know it's Sunday morning and it is 3 a.m. out here, but in the 25 minutes I've been rolling so far, I've only seen three vehicles. Well, here comes number four now, just come over the hill. Three trucks go by. Three vehicles total and they was all trucks. And I got a couple up here in front of him, but still yet, I have not seen no black eyes, so I don't know what's going on. Maybe just cause it's Sunday, everybody is still sleeping. Don't know. But here's the uh, DOT, the, the scale here in Texas. You don't see no yellow flashing light, that means they're closed. Oh my God, I done passed up my, I ate the, not I-80, but the 80 bypass. And here I, for the last minute and a half, I've been talking to myself, I guess, because I thought I was recording it, but I wasn't. <laughs> I was talking to myself the whole time. Anyways, now I'm on this 175, I think it's what it is that I'm on now and it cuts across to 45 so I'm going a different way over here I am 6 miles from 45 and 26 miles from dropping so I'll get back with y'all here in a little bit boys I can you know I thought sickness. I thought that 80 was rough Jeez. This road here made 80. You know, it seemed like a, a freshly paved road with no nothing wrong with it. Ooh. You couldn't really see it that well in the camera, but that corner was a little little shiny but we made it through it well I imagine all this right here being just elevated who was a mess the other day when it was down in the negatives right now it's 34 degrees so it's not too bad Hadn't really, I've seen a couple shiny spots, but nothing really bad, so, yeah. Now we coming into Dallas. See the skyline off there to the left. It's a little bit further to go. Yeah, I've never been through here before like this. Early in the morning, no traffic. I can actually look around. Take exit 286A yes. on the right toward I 35A North. Kind of cool. The way it's all lit up and everything, yeah. Here comes old 35E North. This is where I'm a little worried because it gets a little. After the tunnel, take the exit on the right to yeah. I 35E North. But then again, I don't think it's rained in a couple of days, so yeah, it should be good. It looks good. It's not too bad. That car ain't been sideways in front of me yet, so I guess we're good. Here's where we go into the tunnel. Oh, shit. Bunch of flashing lights over there. Something's happened on the other side. 
they got it completely closed off. Yeah, it's a multi-car accident there. Looked like the cops was involved in the accident. In one mile, take the exit on the right to I-35 E North toward Denver. Here's the downtown Dallas tunnel. Always had some pipes to rack off right now. Blah, 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 blah. Get some Jake Bay. Uh, uh, I do a terrible Jake Bay. behind me has got his bright lights on. Of course, it's a four-wheeler. They don't understand what they... And it's in my right ear. So, I mean, it... It ain't like I... You know, if it's in the left ear, you know, I can somewhat turn my head a little bit and keep you know, that right ear. It ain't... Just get blinded. He's behind me. I hope he don't get on the left side. All right. We got off the exit here. Make this right turn. And we are almost here. Just a half a mile away now. Not even a half a mile. done right here make turn it a left turn Market Street. <coughs> now I'm going to go in here and drop and I'm going uh, to make use of their free showers here and go in here and take a quick shower I don't have to wait here normally I just go right in they ain't no line waiting on those showers, so I'll go in and get a quick shower, then grab me an empty, and then head to Waco. Arriving at Dallas Yard on the right. Yeah, I pulled in here a couple years ago, and all this was solid ice, and there's. When you make the right turn up here to go up, there's a hill. You see right here on the right, you can see well, there's a hill down here you gotta go up. And it was all ice and there was a truck that was coming out and he had jackknifed it and slid it. It slid down the hill and he jackknifed it and had this all blocked up. <coughs> it was a mess. All right. Yeah, right here's that right turn where the guy come down. I mean, it, it's not much of an incline, but it's still a little hill, and it was solid ice, and he slid down it and jackknifed at the bottom there, and you couldn't couldn't get through here. You 
sit at that driveway for hours waiting to get in here. And then when we got in here, all this up here was was iced up with solid ice. So yeah, it was a fun morning, fun day in here. Had the power divider locked in and was spinning all the way through here. And played hell getting hooked up to a trailer. Now, right here, the driver's lounge here is where they got two showers. Now, keep in mind that they don't provide you with shampoo and soap, towels, or none of that. You got to have your own towels and everything. But they do provide you with a shower. I just hooked to this trailer. Got a little air feeding back through the dash. Now, if you have air coming back through the valves, you got one of two things either your lines ain't hooked up good or you got a bad air leak somewhere that is a little tattletale if, if it's coming out your dash there's a leak somewhere in that trailer but it, it will do it at first when you first hook up now if you get a mile down the road and it's still doing it then something's wrong i see now it already stopped 30 seconds into moving it stopped all right I gotta get checked out of here. All right, here we go, headed the other direction. Headed south, I guess, or east, southeast. But yeah, coming into Dallas, go another way. Get up here, get closer, you'll see the big big ball up there in the sky as part of the Dallas skyline I mean I can see it now but in the camera you can't see it real well I don't even know if you'll be able to see it in the camera and you'll feel it in the steering wheel and I felt it but it caught right back that was a good pucker moment Woo. now we come around this corner here you ought to be able to see that ball in the sky see it over there to the right. We ain't quite got all the way around the curve yet. We gotta get out that exit lane. Okay. Yeah. There it is, straight ahead, right in the middle of the screen. That's the ball. Of Dallas. It's like a moon in this this video, but no, that's the ball. The Dallas skyline. Yeah, getting close to Waco now. I'm uh nine miles from my exit. Well. Uh, Guess we are in the Waco city limits, but yeah, still got nine miles here before my exit. Thirteen miles to where I go over here to pick up, pick up from uh, M and M Mars. That's what I haul for. M and M Mars haul candy. On this end of the, the 
Sports Figure, and we, I think most of the time it's Snickers and, and stuff like that. I haul back east. When I'm over on the east side and coming this way, it's M&M's and, and Reese's coming this way. Hey, I pick up Starburst and Skittles and stuff like that here in Waco, too. So, yeah, if, if m and Mars makes it, I've hauled it. Even some bubble gum. Now, we've hauled some peanuts. We've hauled a little bit of everything. They got to have the peanuts to make the, the Snickers. They got to have peanuts for the for the uh, m and So, yeah. We've hauled a little bit of everything for them. But for the most part, 99% of the time is candy. Already produced candy. And right now, I think the last load I hauled was uh, Easter candy. We're already hauling the Easter candy. Somebody be I don't know, I have to look at the paperwork. But as far as I believe, it's the Easter candy. They're right here. You gotta be paying close attention because they got uh, three different 330 exits. They got 330A, B, and C. I got to go to exit 330A, which 330B would get me to the same place. But I can stay right here on the highway and go up here to 330A. And when I get off, you make the, the first right as soon as you get off the highway. Other than getting off back there and running 40 miles an hour down here to the same place. Where I can stay at 72, come right on down here and get off. Make the first right and yeah. I didn't make, you know, that one mile, it might have been, yeah. Might have saved myself about 10 seconds. <laughs> I don't know. Just from going that extra. Mile. Take the exit on the left. Extra mile. Five south. Yeah, now my GPS is gonna go crazy because it don't like coming this way. No matter how many times I do it, it tells me no. You think by now, well, I had this GPS now for three, four years. You think by now it learned which way I go. Nope, it still be trying to tell me to go a different way. You think I know where I'm going. If I followed this GPS all the time, I'd be in trouble. That's a good lesson there. If you don't know where you're going and the GPS is telling you where to go, open up the map book and look and make sure you can go that way. Because a lot of times it'll take you somewhere that you're not supposed to go. And I made that right, and then I had to go to the to the light, make a left, and then immediate right. And now here we are here by Amazon. There's Amazon there on the right. They just put that in. It ain't been going less than a year, I think. Yeah, that was that was all woods there on the right until about a year ago. And now it's big warehouse, Amazon. In one and a half miles, turn left on Mars Drive. Yeah, 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 I hear you now. Now you want to tell me the right way. Lord. <laughs> Losing my mind talking to my GPS. It's no worse than talking to this damn phone, I guess. Earlier, I thought I had this damn thing on recording, and I was steady talking. I held on a two-minute conversation, and the damn thing wasn't recording. 
but oh well it is what it is uh, now I'll go up here make a left and then another left into the yard all right, right here this is Mars Drive in Waco I'll make this left here and if you come into this place always make sure you come in from this way because if you come in from the opposite direction they will turn you around and make you come up here and come back in this way I don't know what it is about coming from the other direction now because there for a while when they was doing all this road work through here we was coming in from the other direction but now that they got all the road work done they want you coming in from this way or they will turn you around and make you go out and come down the road there and find somewhere to turn around and uh come in here I'll pull up here to get the gate and get checked in. When I check in here, we got to turn the unit on. You can see this is a carrier. Got to make sure the temperature is set at the right degrees, which I did all this up in Dallas, but I didn't show it. So you just set temperature 60. That's the box temperature out there. On these units, you got the buttons up, down, and then you just hit equal when you're done. Three-quarter tank of fuel. I already slid the axles back because the axles got to be all the way back. And then open the door. And they got to come look. They'll come look, make sure it's clean. you're clean they'll let you in yeah, it's pretty dark up in there right now I can't see nothing all right well, I passed inspection they let me in because they will come out and check everything Yeah, this is, we used to, back when I first started here, we'd pick up in Tennessee and we would come straight here and we would drop a loaded trailer, grab a loaded trailer and go. That Dallas wasn't involved just in the past, I think about three years now, we just, Dallas has got involved. Now, I mean, it's more money, but you know, there's more work now. We got to go through Dallas. Before, we didn't even have to look at Dallas. Didn't have to go through Dallas. But now we do. But that's fine. It's a little more money. yard these yard jockeys are running through here 30 40 miles an hour but by god I let them catch you doing that oh you be in some trouble no sir don't you get caught doing that then I think I don't know what it is with this place every time I back up to a trailer it is a foot higher than my truck for some reason I don't know what they do here, uh, what the yard dog, uh, I don't know what they do, but it's this place every time I hook to a load, it is a foot higher than my truck. I hope 45 is the one I'm getting because it looks a little low, I just seen it. 
that's the one I'm getting. That should be good. Uh, pull around here and find the hole to back into. Yeah, there's a couple of them there on the right, but I want to get one here on the left where I ain't. Yeah. I'll just turn around and hit one of those over there on the right side. It's tight back here. I know in the Peterbilt, I had to drive one of the 579s. I couldn't do this right here with the 579. I'd have to stop and back up. I couldn't just do a U-turn the way I just did with this truck. And you think the 579 smaller, you think it would turn sharper, but it don't. It don't turn that good at all. All right, anytime I drop a trailer, I always leave a couple inches under the landing gear and then dump your airbags. And that way when you pull away, you don't have that that jolt in the back and pulls away real easy and you're good to go you get to the next one all right i'm hooked up i got the one i was hoping for you know it ain't it wasn't real high it was a little high but not real high and here we are Remember, blue is always on the left. Red will always be on the right. If you remember that, you'll never have a problem hooking up the trailer. Red, right. Red, right. As long as you remember that, you'll always get it right. Check the temperature at 60 degrees. It's good. I uh, roll this landing gear. Uh. Yeesh. I'll let the airbags raise that up some. Come back here. Look at all the tires. Can't see nothing even with my flashlight. Do it this way. Yeah. Look at the tires. Yep. Yeah. Pins locked in. It's all the way back. We have a mud flap. Seal number 80, 79. All the lights working. And all the tires look good. All right, let's move the axles here because they're all the way to the back. I tried to do it before I pulled out the hole, but there wasn't enough air build up in the system at that point. So you gotta let the system build up with air. There's a switch under here. You just flip the switch, the pins release. Uh, this is the air assisted one. Now they do have trailers out there. You got to pull a pin. It's like the, like the pin on your, like the lever on your fifth wheel. There's some trailers out there that's got that, that you pull. But this is air system. We do have one that is air assisted with um with the lever. You pull the lever and it's air assisted. All right. Now look in my mirror there. You see the little white light underneath the green light? 
That means there's a tire that's low. The auto air is airing up the tire. And for the most part, when you first hook to a trailer, they all gonna light up when you first hook up. But once the air gets leveled out, once you get about 10, 15 miles down the road, if that light is still on, then you know you have a tire with a hole in it or something even worse. All right, got my load. Paperwork says this load is 41,000. 360 pounds and it is going to Atlanta or Kennesaw yep now I got Snickers old truck load of Snickers uh, here we go trucking up all right here we are at the pilot in Waco Pulling in to scale the wagon. There's one of our drivers there sleeping. This is where my truck got hit. I wasn't, I normally park like right there where that black truck is, that TMC truck. That's where I normally park at. But I wasn't here, I wasn't back here because I was doing a 34. I figured I'd park up in. You know, the, like the second row, to where I just had to walk through one lane of trucks and be inside, and it causes me a hood and all the damage that it done underneath. And here we are pulling on the scale. Yeah, this truck stop, you got to come in from that back entrance to, in order to get on this scale. If you don't, you ain't. You ain't getting on the scale. Alright. We all lined up. We on here good. Let's see what we weigh. Alright, got the weight pulling off the scale here. Look at that. There's another one of our trucks. All our drivers are sleeping this morning. Remember the two guys, remember the guys that like to run all night and sleep all day. Uh, I don't like running like that. Because I can't. Yeah, I just don't. I prefer to run the way I run, you know, I start when I start in the morning as early as I can. And go and be parked by two, three o'clock every day. Works out better for me that way. Not only that, if anything happens, you know, blow out a tire or anything happens throughout the night, you know, all I gotta do is make a phone call and it's getting taken care of. And like that, well, I mean, yeah, they, they, they can make a phone call too, but it ain't likely to get fixed in the middle of the night as quick as it would for me during the day. So that's why I, I prefer to run the way I run. Well, got another good one here. 33,520 on the trailer, so that's good. 31,380 on the truck, that's good. I got a little less than a half a tank, so by the time I fuel up, them two weights be close to well no 800 pounds ain't gonna put me up it'll put me in like 32 32 200 yeah that's what fuel will give me about 32 200 so i'll still be good either way got my weight done got my red bull everything's good it's time to get rolling. Let's go trucking. Birdie did 245 miles for the day, so I figure about another 400, and my day will be over. And it's only 9 a.m. Eastern time. We figure by the time I get in Louisiana, from where I'm at, 
It'll probably be the end of the day for me. So, let's flip this camera around and get to trucking. I don't know why it is with this phone. In order to flip the camera, I gotta stop the video, flip it, and then start it back up. But, here we go. Well, <laughs> I thought we was going. Going right to a red light. Hell yeah, trucking up. Oh boy, that Red Bull's good. I ain't had one of these in a while. Mm. All right, I'll get back with y'all later on. Yeah, I ain't believing what I just saw. It was on a lot back here. It looked like an international Lone Star with the International Eagle hood on it. Yeah, it didn't look too bad. It looked a little weird, but it didn't look too bad. It, with that big, you know, square hood on the front of it. That's pretty cool. They got ice trucks out here on 35E going south. You know, I know it's cold, 38 degrees, but I didn't think it was cold enough to be running the ice prevention. Maybe they know something I don't know if they already put an ice down. Maybe they expected something tonight down through here. I don't know. Yeah, right here, that left lane, I don't know if you can really tell in the camera, but it looks a little shiny, a little slippery. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see all this this morning coming down through here, but yeah, there is definitely still patches of ice here on 35E, around the 340 mile marker. I know on the north side it is patchy. I don't know what's going on on the south side, but they do have ice prevention going south. I'll give y'all a little behind the scenes of why I'm doing this channel. You know, I have, I think I told y'all on here before, I have eight children. Well, one of them right now is 16 years old. And he's a good kid, never had no trouble out of him. And all he asked for was the vehicle that we have now that is paid for. Whenever we get another one, he wants that one. So all the money I made working is accounted for you know i have no i can't squeeze no extra for no car payment so i started this yeah it might take a little while to get up to monetization but that's my goal anyways here we are on 35e north about two miles from getting back on 20 to start heading back east total of 800 miles from here to Kennesaw. So needless to say, I will not make that today. Here yeah, right up here, half a mile, getting on I-20 East. Probably not gonna be too bad at traffic means it's Sunday, but it can be during the week, that'd be a tricky. Yeah, you know, there ain't no, you're know, like coming, yeah, Take just coming west on 20, getting on the 35, you got that, that overpass there, it goes up and then the it comes down. It's, the winter time is a little worrisome, but 
this down here ain't too bad. Couple bumps in it, but other than that, pretty good. Now we're eastbound and down, rolled it up and truck it. Yeah. Continue on <laughs> Ain't no singer. Uh, anywho, let's get the hell up out of here. Get out of Dallas. Why the kids is good. Now this explains uh, ice prevention I seen earlier. So misty rain. You know, it's 33 degrees right now. And misty raining. I'm surprised it's water drops and not snowflakes. But, you know what happens when that water hits the road, it freezes. Look at that large car there. Stainless trailer and all. Drunk it up. Boo boo. made it out of Texas. Welcome to Louisiana. I have completely forgot about fuel again today. But I'm um, not quite yeah, well, pretty close to E. Not quite there yet, but pretty close. Got about an eighth of a tank. But yeah, about 30 miles up here to where I like to stop at to get fuel. About 33 miles, something like that. Yeah, what is it? Halton? 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 H A U G H T O N, Halton, Louisiana. There at the pilot. Where I like to stop, give fuel at anyway. But, you know, we'll get back when we get there. I'm cutting it real close on the fuel here, but I'm only like a mile away from the exit now. So, yeah, I think I'll be good. I only got a mile to go to get where I'm gonna get fuel and yeah, it's been a long day. It's 20 after one. And yeah, I may just call her quits there for today. But I did start at 3 a.m. this morning. And although I still got two and a half hours on my clock. I did 540 miles today. I normally try to do 600 every day. That's my goal every day, a minimum of 600, but I just ain't feeling it right now. We'll see how I feel after I get fuel. I may change my mind and go on to West Monroe or something after I get fuel. But in the meantime, get off here and get some fuel and then go from there. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. I'll let y'all know. somebody got his lights going and everything no sirens just lights now that's a fool right there 30 degrees out here on a crotch rocket I can't say nothing when I was 19 20 years old that's what I drove 
I had nothing but a motorcycle. I didn't have no car or nothing else. So everywhere I went, I went on a motorcycle and I done it in 20, 30 degree weather too. All right, I'm pulling up to the pump here. Got to get lined up to get fuel. 172 gallons. Yeah, she was a little thirsty. But that tells me I still had 28 gallons to go. So I wasn't quite empty. I still had a little ways to go. Yeah. Now let's see about getting out of here. I think it's just a little bit too early for me to stop yet. I mean, yeah, granted, I I started early, but yeah, still, yeah, it's 125. I don't want to stop this early. So I'll go on to Monroe, West Monroe. That's about 90 miles from here, I'd say. Yep. Yeah. Look here. Two Lone Stars sitting there together. Them trucks are nice, but yeah. I don't know. They're just a regular damn eagle with a damn glorified glorified hood. Other than that, it's just an international. This place here, it's always full. No matter what time you pull up in here, this place will be full. But for some reason, I, I like stopping here. I guess because what it is, you know, this is one of the truck stops that they always, uh, you know, I got a big 64 ounce cup that I use. And I like Mountain Dew, Code Red, Code Red Mountain Dew. And they always have it here. So I guess that's why I like stopping here. So let's get out of here and get to West Monroe. All right, I made it to West Monroe. This is definitely gonna be the end for me today. I made it over my limit. I wanted to get 600, I'm at 615 for today, so. That's my goal. I made my goal, so. It's gonna be the end for me today. Pull up in here and find somewhere to park. Oh yeah. It's a hairy turd. Oh, I forgot. I should have slowed down a little more. That's all right. They got extra rope there to, to help you out. Turn left on the road, then take the first left. Oh, shut up. I didn't hear that. Get in this truck stop here and find somewhere to park. Southern Tire Mart. I don't ever see nothing going on in that place. It's always basically empty. Let's see here. When possible, make a U turn. Then take the first left. It's Sunday, so I'm pretty sure the truck stop is going to be somewhat full. But I normally go, like I said, every truck stop I go to the back. That's the first place I check is in the back. It looks like they may be a couple spots back here, so I should be good.
Bobtail. And that's our Bobtail in them holes. There's a couple spots. No, no Bobtail. Get back in this hole. Then I'm gonna take you over a little trip. There's a fine ass old FLD. I think that's what it was. An FLD right over here. He drove into the he drove into the hole. He's smart. He don't want to get his shit tore up. So yeah. All right, we in there.